Good morning, Facebook. Glad to be with you this morning. It's sunny and wonderful out. It's about 52 degrees as we came into the office this morning. It's going to be in the 80s, almost 90s, I think, today. Um, that's according to John D. Um, so if you're uh, going to get your yard work done, do it early today. Otherwise, you'll be passing out. Well, us youpers aren't uh, equipped for that kind of heat. So, um, yeah, today we're talking about God's love, and uh, we're in John for First uh, John chapter four, and uh, talking about that, and uh, that it's actually um, something that is a really beautiful thing within the scriptures that we can count on, and that we can uh, place our faith in it. One of the questions that we are talking about today: uh, What if God was not love? What if He existed as like this all powerful and all knowing, but lacked the attribute of love? That would be really bad for us um love uh love sets our god apart from other every other god every other religion uh other religions they uh strive they strive for god's love and so you have like crazy things happening like people sacrificing their children and things of that nature i don't think that really happens anymore but it did at one point but there's other things that they they they're striving for and yet in in christianity it, in, there is no striving for it just is it's an outflow of it, the actual very person of who god is when god sees the um sees the world um he 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 loves it and he cares about it and when we see love in the world it's a reminder that we're made in the image of god that love exists among us because it's part of god's very character you know, for many of us, uh, when we describe God, we all talk about our Heavenly Father, one of the persons yeah, of well. the Trinity. And uh, for those of us who have loving fathers growing up, seeing God as a loving dad is an easy way to comprehend his love for us. Um, but that doesn't tell maybe the whole story. God doesn't just love us. He is love. And love is is not just what god does it's it's it is actually who he is um it's one of thing to be loving it's infinitely more significant for it to be a part of your very character and so one in i think it's uh first corinthians 13 the great marriage passage it says love is patient love is kind love is humble uh love is eager to serve that is actually god that's a picture of who he is um he is by nature all of those things and uh <clears throat> god can't be indifferent to what's happening man in our world right now it's it is in america it's craziness out there and uh, we recognize that but i think god's weeping with us god is concerned with us um and he's trying uh to go um you know how do i meet these people where they're at right now in in their turmoil and because that's part of his nature and we can take comfort in submitting to god who it, who loves us we can bear any circumstance knowing we can walk through them with a God who loves us and really wants the best, uh, really wants the best for us. You know, as we talked about this, one of the other questions that we were talking about is how does um, understanding that God is love affect our ability to have faith in our lives? And so what do you guys think? I think like when we, we understand how much God loves us, which is still just this, wildly humongous thing that my brain starts to just melt when I try to wrap it around it because you know God bridged the gap from uh sin in us with his son Jesus Christ and yet Jesus is God and the whole triune trifecta thing that just makes my mind just boggled by how that works sometimes when I try to dig into it but um what I really love about God's love is that it casts out fear like we can trust in him he is good even when our mind is telling us no you can still have that trust and that fear. That's that's what comes into my heart when I feel like I can't trust God is fear. And he tells us that he's going to be there like no matter what. He is the author of everything that is good. So I would have no idea what is good uh, without God. Nice. Yeah, Levi, I'm still kind of stuck on what you had said. Like, what if God was not love? And I think we do have some glimpses of that in um, some of the ancient cultures whose uh, God's warred against each other and stuff like that. And there wasn't this relationship or love between the, 
the gods that they were worshiping. And so as a result, the people would war against each other. And there wasn't a lot of peace. There wasn't uh, a lot of relationship and that kind of thing. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it's hard, I think, for, for us to, to imagine um, because we do put a lot of value on relationships. And oftentimes you'll hear in even the stories of our culture, like successful people mourning this idea that um, they didn't spend more time with their family or their, their families really suffered because of their success because they realize like no matter how successful, how much money they made, really the, the most important thing was uh, these loving relationships that they had with their families and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I just think of like the picture, like I need like pictures sometimes to, to understand these things, but the picture of God singing songs over us, um, mm. you know, we sing love songs all the time, uh, or I don't know if I sing them all the time, but um, they're at least on the radio all the time, <laughs> right? <laughs> but it, it, the scriptures talk about God singing songs over us and like it, it projecting like man i care about these people i love these people in such a way that that uh i don't know for me that is a really a, an interesting glimpse of into his heart uh for us and his very nature and so yeah i think once you you have people singing songs over you um you can kind of trust in that relationship so at some level well, and maybe for you guys too, but for me, just having this profound kind of revelation of God's love for me, didn't, it changed a lot when I had kids, like I had kids of my own. And I'm like, I started to have a glimpse of how God views us. And it's, it's, it's awesome, but it's also a super sobering moment too. Cause you're like, man, I break his heart all the time. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that came till they're about a year. I didn't really like them the first year. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And all they do is cry and poop and yeah. eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but that we should probably over. read the scripture now. We, we're yeah, that's what we need to read. <laughs> uh, we're in First John 4 and looking at verse 16 and 17 this morning. So you can follow along with me. And it says, and so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment because in this world, we are like him. Well, let's pray this morning. Uh, Heavenly Father, we come before you and we just thank you for your love today. Um, we thank you for the vastness of it, that it's, it's hard for us to wrap our minds around and fully understand, but you are, you're good. You're good from the beginning. You are the author of all good things. You're the creator of love, Lord. And uh, you chase after us constantly, Lord, and I just pray that our hearts would rest in that today. That we would, that we would reciprocate the love that you have for us, and understand that we can't, we can't repay you. We can't do it the same as you do, God. But just help our hearts to grow closer to you and and more in love with you and our walk with Jesus today. Uh, God, let us um, let us cast out the fears that your perfect love can get rid of. Uh, there's things that I know that keep us from having that that full relationship with you and that life to the full with having Jesus uh, take over every part of our lives, Lord. So I pray that the things that we need to get rid of and give up, that you would, you would cast those things out. If there's something in our heart, uh, in our lives, maybe that's holding us back from being fully committed to you, fully in love with you, Lord, I pray that you would bring those to light, that you would help us uh, put those aside and just chase after you wholeheartedly. Uh, God, we thank you that, that you love us and you always pursue us and that you are good and you want good things for your kids, Lord. Uh, so we just pray that you would be with us today, that you draw us closer to your heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Lord, thank you so much for just another day, a beautiful day that even displays your love uh, to us. And so, Lord, we thank you for all that you provide for us. Uh, but Lord, we're so thankful that you are the embodiment of love, that the uh, love is who you are and so lord we we pray that you would help us in that and, and just recognize that our own love uh comes from you uh, lord we love because you first loved us and so uh, lord i pray that you would help us with those times where loving is just challenging uh, lord maybe uh, we've been in a conflict with our family because uh, we've been so are so tied up with them and and in close connection with them through the quarantine and it's caused some fractures. Lord, I pray that uh, your love would help us to seek out reconciliation there. And Lord, I pray for other relationships and other 
issues that might have sprung up. Lord, I, I pray that your love would compel us um, to seek restoration and reconciliation. And Lord, you, you tell us to love our enemies and to pray for those who persecute us. And so, Lord, I pray that our love would uh, compel us to do that today. Um, Lord, if there's someone who um, is antagonistic or whatever, Lord, that we would choose uh, to follow you and, and image you in loving them. Uh, and Lord, I, I just pray um, that we would forever be um, just captured and enraptured by your love for us through Jesus Christ. And Lord, that Jesus came when uh, we were not friends. We were in rebellion against you. And yet Jesus came, revealed who you were, paid the, the price for our sin. Lord, now we are freed from that guilt and that burden. And you have displayed just amazing love in that. And so we thank you so much for that. And we, we ask that you would help us to be examples of love for those around us today. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. God, as all the uh, love songs that I've ever heard kind of swirl around in my head and uh, one kind of just sticks out, uh, the one uh, old school song by Elvis Presley, uh, I can't help falling in love. And I, I think at the beginning of that song, it says, wise men say fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. And as I hear those words, I think about how foolish it was for you to love us. Uh, we were rebels. We were, we were, we were uh, against you. And in your very nature, you chose to love us. Um, it wasn't because of our righteousness, uh, but because of Jesus' righteousness. And we're thankful for that today. God, as we go about our lives um, today, we ask that we would, uh, we would grab you uh, by the hand and we would wholeheartedly fall in love with you as we see your love just coming out of your very character, God, that it would give us faith to take the next step, that it would give us faith to do the right, next right thing that you've called us, that we would, we would love your commands, that we would love your word, that we would love it because we know that you love us. It's not out of uh, mm -hmm. uh, us being um, compelled to be moral, but it's out of our love and our connection because we understand your very character is love and you want the very, very best for us. Let us be more human than we've ever been today mm -hmm. as we follow you. And so we pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, tomorrow's our last day. Uh, our state's opening back up. And uh, in one sense, we've kind of made it. And uh, oh, we're going to be back uh, uh, tomorrow. And uh, then Wednesday, um, movie theaters open up. So I guess we're good to go. Um, and uh, we'll continue to pray uh, for you. And uh, hopefully you'll continue to pray with us. Uh, but we won't be doing it on Facebook Live. And so tomorrow's our last day and uh, we'll see you then.